Well, coming up on today's show, we are visiting a lot of the old Columbus area, including Grandview, Upper Arlington, and right in the main part of downtown, plus the short north. And we found some amazing businesses like Square One Salon and Spa. It is just an amazing place to visit. There's a lot of things that you're gonna to wanna to see. And if you've been a, any, a resident of Columbus anytime at all, you're gonna to wanna to learn about old Columbus on today's show. Renee, what did you find? Well, thanks, Mike. Well, we've been all over the downtown finding great places to check out. One of them is a great little spot where you can sample mead and also listen to live music. And we checked out a place in the short north where they have an extensive wine collection and a wonderful new menu selection to choose from, too. I'm Renee Joseph, and along with Mike Kilburn, we are Out and About Columbus. Brothers Drake Meadery offers delicious meads made right here in the Short North. We spoke with Julian and Carrie who told us more about their unique products. Well, Julian, welcome to Out and About Columbus and thank you so much for having us out to Brothers Drake Meadery. Thanks for coming. Well, tell us how you make craft alcohol out of pure honey, which is mead. Uh, so honey is to a lot of people, some of the oldest fermented alcohol, uh, fermented beverages. Uh, so really it is honey, yeast, and thyme. Well, what are some of your guest favorites? Uh, so apple pie, that is our flagship, uh, comes out um, October is when we usually do the apple pie release, October 1st, uh, but we, we have it all year round. Um, so when we make apple pie, it's um, about 1,000 gallons of pressed apples uh, that come to us and then we pump in about 4,000 pounds of honey. So it's a pretty big operation. So Carrie, thanks for coming on today. My pleasure, thank you. Well, tell us how we can join the Mead Club. So the Mead Club is a great way for people that enjoy our products to be able to get some of our exclusive side releases. We try to do these every quarter. Um, so people that are consistent fans, you know, they come in, they have the same thing over and over. So when you join the Mead Club, you know that you get those special batches first and foremost when we do our special releases. You can do that just by joining up um, on our website, which is just brothersdrake.com. Well, how do we find you? Do we need a reservation? And all that good stuff. Brothersdrake.com. So we operate on first come, first serve, as long as there's seats available. And if we have the ability to shift things around and accommodate you, we will. Carrie, thank you so much for coming on and sharing Brothers Drake Meadery. Absolutely, thank you. We'll look forward to seeing you guys. Well, if you're looking for a beautiful salon and spa in the downtown, I highly recommend Square One. We had an opportunity to stop by and talk to Doug, learn about the place and the services they provide. It is just absolutely amazing. you got to try this. Doug told us more. Well, Doug, good to have you in Square One, salon and spa on the show. Ah, oh, well, thank you for being here. Yeah. You know, this place is fabulous. I got a tour when I came in and was just amazed at the different components that make up this. So tell us a little bit about this. Well, thank you for the compliment, first of all. Um, we have several components to the salon and spa. Uh, for starters, we are an Aveda lifestyle salon and spa. So we are exclusively Aveda products from our retail to our colors that we use, as well as our cutting systems and things like that. Uh, we're a full spa where we offer facials, massage, manicures and pedicures, uh, waxing services. We also have a separate section that is our men's barbershop. And we have uh, people over there who exclusively specialize in men's cutting. Yeah. Is that because men didn't want to come to the salon? No, no, they were already here. They were already here. We just had some people who only did men's cutting and they're like, you know, we want to, there's a little niche for us. You know, how, what can we do to make us stand out a little bit more and that component to kind of keep those people happy as well. And to give the guys a, a feel for something different than a salon and spa for those people who want that barbershop experience. Let's talk a little bit about being in a downtown, being a salon and spa down here. And I know there's been some challenges, not only with the pandemic, but some of the, the problems that they had in the downtown area. Talk a little bit about that. The challenges that we've run into from the pandemic, number one. So our team needed to come back to work and feel safe in the environment with um, you know protocols in place for sanitation, uh, social distancing, 
uh, the, the wearing of masks. I think the consumer confidence is going up, not just from a uh, pandemic uh, standpoint, but also from an economic standpoint. Give us some contact information where we can learn more about Square One. SquareOneSalon.com. Fantastic. Thanks so much for being on the show, Doug. Thank you for having us. Well, Not Cheap Gallery in the short north has some very unique artwork and some very unique themes, and they represent several artists. We had an opportunity to talk to Karen and learn more. Well, Karen, good to have you and Not Sheep Gallery back on the show. It's been a while. Thanks, Mike. Nice to see you again. Yeah, good to be back and uh, talking to you about the gallery. Tell us what's unique about Not Sheep Gallery that uh, makes you different from other art galleries here. So I really uh, focus on controversial or conversational type of art. So it could be about all sorts of things, politics, religion, ageism, sexism, environmental issues. Um, so anything that, that kind of provokes controversy or a conversation. This particular show is called Rhythms of Life and it's worked by Deborah Griffin who teaches art at Goodwill to mentally handicapped. Really? Interesting. And she's really talking about how can we kind of um, relate to each other maybe how our own minds operate. Well, speaking of artists, who is represented here in the gallery? Permanent artists are Deborah Griffin, Christina Kosova, Julie Burns, Char Norman, uh, Priscilla Roggenkamp, Che Ruby, Christopher X. Bost, um, Nava Lubelski, Darlene Olivia McElroy, and um, I'm sure I'm forgetting somebody. <laughs> Anyway, we have a group of about 12 or 15 artists that are permanently represented. And then I do guest shows where I'll let people come in and just show, uh, maybe they've never shown in a gallery, or maybe they've been working on a political body of work that their gallery won't let them show. Mm -hmm. And so I let them show here for guest shows about four times a year. Uh, we just took down Priscilla Roggenkamp's show. She was a um, show that was supposed to be last March. Mm -hmm. We moved it up. Uh, this is Deborah Griffin and Christina Kosoba. And um, after this will be a group show called The Problem We All Live With. There was a Norman Rockwell painting oh. called The Problem We All Live With, and it was about um, school uh, desegregation. And so I think a lot of people are gonna be talking about issues of racism, but there, there are lots of problems we live with, and a lot of it could be environmental. Well, give us some contact information, Karen, where we can learn more about Not Sheep Gallery and come and visit you here on Russell Street. We're in the short north at 17 West Russell. Um, I'm open typically Thursday through Sunday, uh, 11 or 12 to 4, and it really just depends. Call me first. <laughs> <laughs> I've gotten much looser in my schedule over the past year. Uh -huh. um, and, you know, I, I also do consulting, and I run around with my other gallery, so um, call first just to make sure. But um, we're here for gallery hops, and gallery hops have now been changed to be 1 to 4 on the first Saturday of the month. Oh. They used to be in the evening, yeah, now they're yeah. during the day. Yeah, that's a great yeah. time for everybody to come down to short. Yeah, yeah. Well, Karen, thanks again for being on the show. Thanks. Would you like your business to make an appearance on an upcoming episode of Out and About Columbus? Send your contact information to info at outandaboutcolumbus.com to learn more. Well, if you love delicious wine and cocktails as well, Divine on High has all that and more. Come check out their new dining menu. Taylor told us more about this wonderful bar and restaurant located in the short north. Taylor, welcome to Out and About Columbus, and thank you so much for having us out to Divine on High Tastings and Dining. Well, thank you for joining us. Well, tell us all about this wonderful place here in the short north. So we were previously tastings, and we recently were renamed to Divine Tastings and Dining. Um, prior to, it was more of a wine location. Um, we have brought in more food to try to make it more of a restaurant as well as wine. Well, look, let's talk about some of the things that people really love, because I know since you did have just wine and now you're doing the dining, what are people really loving here? Um, so honestly, our, our overall menu has been quite a success. We do have another location called Danny's Delicious that we do corned beef. So we've kind of brought that this way. Okay. So our Red Reuben is kind of what we're trying to push to be known for. Oh, I understand you guys have events that you host here and also that people can have private parties. Tell us about that. Yes, so we have an event space that's reservable from up to 30 to 130 people. So you can reserve the whole restaurant for you and your party. Um, we're also going to start pushing on Wednesdays and Fridays where we do wine tastings. And Tuesdays and Thursdays is where we're going to try the events. So like cheese and checkers and we're going to do wine and paint events so 
hopefully that's what we could start pushing. Well, tell everybody where you're located and how we can find out more information about Divine on High. So we are located within the short north between 1st and 2nd. Our address is 958 North High Street. Um, our website is divinetastings.com. We also have a Facebook page, so you can find us on there. You can go to our website or you can call us any day of the week. So. Well, Taylor, again, thank you so much for having us out. This is really a lovely place. Well, thank you very much for having us. It's time to get in shape, and we found a place, Worthington Pro Fitness, that can help you do it all. We talked with Joey D and TJ, who told us more about their great facility and their special offer. Well, Joey D, it is a pleasure to see you again. Thanks for coming on out and about Columbus today. Oh, our, our pleasure. Thanks for being here. Well, thanks for having us out to Worthington Pro Fitness. And you guys have two locations. Tell us about that and tell us about your memberships. How do they work? Yeah, so we have two locations. Uh, our original location is Grandview Pro Fitness down, down on Grandview Avenue. And then just this year, we've opened up Worthington Pro Fitness. Um, the great thing about our facilities are they're 24 hour facilities. So it doesn't matter where you sign up at, you'll get a key fob, all of our, all of our members will, and they have 24 seven access with that key fob anytime they wanna come in and train. Well, I understand you have a special offer for our viewers today. Tell us about that. Yeah, one of the things we want to do um, is for anybody, any new member that mentions that they've saw our segment on Out and About Columbus, when they come in and sign up, they're going to get an additional month free when they sign up for their first month. Yeah, we have a wide variety of things that we offer. We have a number of personal trainers at both locations. Um, we also have classes. And one of the great things that we have is both of our locations have a recovery room. Too. So if you're with a trainer or you're just training on your own, you have a really hard workout, you can go into the recovery room afterwards. We have Normatec sleeves, we have the Thera guns, we have massage chairs, and you can really help speed your recovery that way. Well, TJ, welcome to Out and About Columbus, and thanks for coming on today and telling us about this great place. This place is huge, and you've got fabulous equipment. Tell us about that. Uh, yeah, we actually we're, we got close to 8,000 square foot. Um, our equipment caters to all different types of fitness needs. We go from CrossFit to bodybuilding to powerlifting and really anything in between. Uh, we got a set of dumbbells goes from five pounds all the way up to 150 pounds. Uh, four competition combo racks where you can squat or bench. Um, three deadlift platforms. We got an additional three cages. We got a CrossFit rig where you can do your pull-ups, your Keplings, your toes to bar, uh, your Olympic style lift. We even got 30 yards of turf. Uh, you can do your functional fitness on the turf from your yoke carries to your farmer's carries. How do we find out more information about Worthington Pro Fitness? So you can just go to our website at worthingtonprofitness.com. Uh, you can check out our Instagram handle at Worthington Pro Fitness, or you can just stop by and see us. Address is 6740 Huntley Road, Suite L&N, and, &N, and we're in the back of the building, so make sure you come to the back for the parking. Thank you so much. Great information. Hey, it's time to get in shape. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Thanks for having us. Miss any of today's show? Now you can catch it all on the go. Just visit onacolumbus.com for past episodes and all of our latest content. We well, you know one of the mature businesses in the Bexley area over 30 years, Michael Garcia Salon has been here and they've went through some challenges with the pandemic, but they provide full services here. And we talked to Leslie Garcia about what they do. Well, Leslie, good to have you and Michael Garcia Salon on Thank the show. Thank you, you as well. Yeah. Tell us the longevity. What do you think has contributed to that success? So we've been in Bexley now for over 30 years. Um, it's a family owned business. My husband, myself, and my son all work here as stylists. Um, I think the longevity is that we are all invested as a family. Um, we have wonderful community support from the community of Bexley. Uh, and I think we just always try to stay current. Let's talk a little bit about your services that you, uh, that are your, kind of your signature things that you do here. Awesome. So we pride ourselves on, like I said, staying current in our industry. Uh, we do a lot of our color it's a huge color salon so we do a lot of specialty color services ranging from balayage to color placement to just pops of color all over color so anything that you could imagine in that industry we're um we do not compartmentalize which means all of our stylists are uh, cut hair and do their own color uh, we have an esthetician staff of a husband and wife team that between the two of them have been in the industry for 61 years. Uh, so we always have specialty services in that area, ranging from facials to dermaplanes to you know anything you can imagine, waxing services. So I think the longevity really just comes from our passion for being in this industry. 
and being in this community. Well, Leslie, give us some contact information where we can learn more about the salon. So you can find us on social media. We are on Facebook and Instagram, um, as well as our website, Michael Garcia Salon. So if you follow, type in any of those three, you know, Michael Garcia Salon, you'll find all of those, whether you're on Instagram, Facebook. Um, we do a little Snapchatting, but mostly those two social media um, or search engines, and then of course our own website. Fantastic. Leslie, thanks so much for being on the show. Great information. Thank you. Well, you know, Tri Village Chamber Partnership touts over 400 members and represents a great area of Old Columbus, Grandview, and Upper Arlington, and Marble Cliff. And I got to tell you, it was interesting to learn about this and the merger that has happened to bring all this together and what the future plans are. We talked to David and learned more. Well, David, good to have Tri Village Chamber on the show. Well, thanks for having us. You know, you guys cover some areas we really, uh, really love in the city here. We were really wanting to do Old Columbus, and this is the areas that is definitely Old Columbus. So tell us a little bit about the history of the Tri Village Chamber. Well, Tri Village Chamber was formed in 2016 with the merger of the Grandview Heights Area Chamber, covering Grandview Heights and Marble Cliff, and the Upper Arlington Chamber. So five years and lots of changes and lots of good things going on. Right now we have about 420 some members. Um, we've, you know, sustained our own last year. Um, we're still see some, seeing some of the effects from last year, but I mean, we're holding it, we're strong. We're here at Cohatch, um, been here since January 31st. I guess, what, is, what do you think that the post pandemic uh, looks like? You know, we're, we're working on that right now. We're still planning our events through June via Zoom. Um, we have great platforms that we're providing, but hopefully we'll see in August, September, some opportunity to have more in-person or start in-person events. Um, I keep telling everybody when we get the go ahead, I'm going to have the biggest pop-up happy hour somewhere. <laughs> go through all three communities as often as possible. Give us some contact information where we can learn more about Tri Village Chamber. Sure. Contact me at david at chamberpartnership.org. Our website is chamberpartnership.org. And, you know, it's a great opportunity to learn and truly invest. You know, our rates are reasonable. Um, so there's a lot of opportunities to help with us grow the chamber as well as grow their businesses. Yeah, fantastic. Well, thanks so much for being on the show. Would you like your business to make an appearance on an upcoming episode of Out and About Columbus? Send your contact information to info at outandaboutcolumbus.com to learn more. Well, located near OSU is the Griff OSU and what beautiful apartments ranging from one bedroom to four bedrooms. We learn more about this wonderful place from Taylor Cunningham. Well, Taylor, good to have you and the Griff on Out and About Columbus. Thank you. Tell us about the Griff. What is it? So the Griff is an apartment complex located near The Ohio State University in the Grandview area with spacious, fully furnished apartments with an awesome amenity package year round. Yeah. You know, what makes this different than other apartments? Well, what really sets us apart from the rest is first off our free parking for our residents and for their guests. Next, we have electric car charging stations. So if you have an electric car, that'll be perfect for you. Mm -hmm. We also have two sun decks with a view of the downtown campus and the downtown skyline. Looks so good when the sun is setting up there, let me tell you. You know, I couldn't help but notice when I walked in, I happened to see the movie theater. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, the movie theater is awesome. It's a reservable area for our residents. So if they like to watch movie marathons, like I'm a big Harry Potter person, right. so I'd be in there watching Harry Potter, but you can rent it out, use our popcorn machine in there, bring your friends and family down and watch a good movie. So Taylor, who's your audience? Who, who rents here at the Griff? So we really rent to anybody who meets our qualifications. With our proximity to campus, we do see a lot of OSU students as well, though. Yeah. How many bedroom apartments? I mean, does it start with one and go up to how many? And kind of talk about the actual accommodations themselves. Yeah, so um, we have one, two, three, and four bedroom apartments. <laughs> <laughs> with each bedroom, you have your own bathroom, so you never have to share a bathroom. Nice. Um, they are fully furnished, but you can also bring in your own touches with your own decor, and there's some space for your own furniture that you bring in. Um, but we rent individually by the bed space as well. Yeah. Now is that, do you have to rent for like 12 months or is there shorter leases or longer or how does that work? 
Um, we do short-term leases. We have a very limited amount of those available, but most time we do 12 months. Well, give us some contact information where we can learn more about the Griff and any specials that you have right now. Yeah, so the best way to find out more about the Griff is to stop in for a tour. One of our friendly staffs will walk you around all of our amenities and our model unit. Um, other than that, you can find us on our website, thegriffosu.com. has our free and zero commitment application on there. And you can always give us a call at 614-826-7600. Fantastic. Thanks so much for being on the show, Taylor. <laughs> Absolutely. So, Christine, what is the mission of Keepsake T-Shirts Quilts? We are a nonprofit organization, and the proceeds are used to support our mission, which is to hire, train, and promote deaf individuals. And here we make, here we have a communication barrier free work environment where we make unique and quality t shirt, quilts, and blankets. And those blankets and quilts exceed our customers' expectations. So, Carrie, why is it so important working at Keepsake t shirts and quilts? How is it important to you? Sure, there are three reasons this place is very important to me. The first is communication. I'm able to communicate clearly with my coworkers through American Sign Language, and in that way we're able to share ideas and give each other feedback and do brainstorming together as we work on the quilts. My experience at my other jobs is very different than what I've had here, which is the second reason that I love working here. Communication at my last employer was very, very limited, and they wanted me to just write back and forth, which I didn't want to do to communicate with my team. But here, everyone uses sign language. So Shauna, how can someone get a gift certificate to get one of these beautiful blankets? We do have a wonderful last minute gift option. We do have our gift cards available on our website. If you go online, you'll see shop at the top corner. If you select that, then you'll see the options available for a digital gift card. And then it's entirely up to you how much you would like to put on the gift card. Once we receive your order, we will mail you an actual physical gift card. And there's a tag included where you can add a message to your loved one with the gift card. To get one of these beautiful quilts, you can contact them at 614-238-3323 or online at tshirtquilts.com. Like the Out and About Facebook page for pictures, video, and more on the show, including news on upcoming shows and even exclusive behind-the-scenes content. That's facebook.com slash outandaboutcolumbus. Well, you know, Ford and Iron Works is celebrating 75 years in business, and we talked about Ford and about how it all got started. Good to have you at Fire Ford and Iron Works back on the show again. Always happy to be here. So, I, it's pretty exciting news, I guess. You guys have been around, is it 75 years this year? 75 years this year. That's amazing. So, tell yeah. us a little bit of history of Ford and Iron Works. Uh, my parents, Joe and Josephine Fortin, started a business in 1946. My dad was a welder in the U.S. Army. Um, came back after the war and started a welling shop in what was then his garage on West 3rd Avenue. Well, the garage he had to take down once, once the city found out that uh, he had a business going there, he took the garage down, but then built our original location. Okay. We were all born and raised at our location on 3rd Avenue. We moved here to 5th Avenue in 2000. Yeah, we were literally born and raised at the factory. Um, the, the comment usually is we never had a backyard to play in because we had a factory we needed to be working in. When we moved to this building in the year 2000, uh, we had a lot more space than what we were accustomed to having. We went literally from being just a service counter to having about 10,000 square foot of space that we could designate uh, for a retail showroom. Yeah, and you know, just since I've been involved with you guys, I mean, I've seen this expand. I remember when you had like patio furniture and then you know, this is just, this is phenomenal, and this has just continued to grow. We continue to change. We are very generational right now. The third generation of the family is taking over. I've got six um, of my parents' grandchildren now manage the business. I wonder, you know, all those years ago, if your dad would have thought it was ever going to get to be this side. He had a, instilled a pretty heavy work ethic into all of us, especially my older siblings. 
Well, if people want to come and visit Fort Nine Works and visit the marketplace, I, I tell people this all the time. You, you're missing one of the best places in town if you want to do some great shopping. This is a wonderful place to come. Give us some contact information and when we come and enjoy this. Sure. The best thing to do is go to our website, fortinironworks.com. We are very diversified. What I usually tell people is if it's metal, just give us a chance at it. And chances are we're involved with whatever you need. If not, we can certainly refer you. Yeah. And I have personal experience with you guys. You guys do a great job. Bob, thanks so much for being on the show. Always love being here. Well, Franklin Art Glass Studio has been hiding in the German Village area for over 50 years. And look at this beautiful glass that they create. We got a complete education on stained glass from Gary Elf. You know, stained glass is absolutely beautiful. You see it in a lot of homes. I see it in churches. And this is what you guys create here, which is just amazing. Are there many stores like this that does this kind of work in Ohio? In Ohio, there aren't many stained glass studios. We're the largest by far. We've been here 92 years in Columbus, Ohio, and German Village for over 50 years. Talk to us a little bit about the process. If you wanted to do something in stained glass. Well, if a person wanted to do a stained glass window, we decide on where it's going to go, what the size of the window is, and if they have a preconceived idea of what they want to do, and then they come in, we talk to them, we talk them through the process, and try to help them select the design, then we'd help them select the colors, then we'd show them a full-size drawing, and then we fabricate the window and actually install the window in place. Well, obviously, I've seen stained glass for years. Is the longevity of it, <laughs> literally, how long does stained glass last? Well, stained glass window basically lasts forever as long as it's maintained. Uh, a lot of stained glass windows in Europe have been around hundreds and hundreds of years. A uh, good stained glass window, maybe you'll have some work done on it, maybe after 100, 150 years. Do you do other things besides the stained glass? Yeah, we do a lot of kitchen cabinet doors. We do tabletops. We do shelving uh, and anything to do with a piece of colored glass. You know, one of the things that I was wondering about is uh, restoration work, and I'd ask you a little bit of that off camera about if, if somebody needs something, you can do that, right? We do an awful lot of repair. Restoration is becoming real big. There's a lot of windows today becoming 100, 150 years old today and might need a little restoration or maybe get a baseball through one or some kind of accident happens, uh, we can repair them. Yeah. You know, Gary, when you think custom and you think stained glass, I hear the process, I think it, it, really expensive. Is, is it true this is just for the wealthy? No, stained glass can be for anybody. We can make a simple stained glass window that consists of a diamond line, a rectangle line, a kitchen cabinet door, a small transom. Of course, stained glass could do a cathedral too, and it could be relatively expensive, but you know, even in the cathedral, it probably costs less than your car. Tell us how we learn more information, where we find you at, in case we want to take classes or we just want to have a stained glass window made. Okay, Frank Leonard has been hiding down here in German Village for 50 years. We're at 222 East Sycamore Street. You can find us on our website at franklinartglass.com or call us on our phone at 614-221-2972. Would you like your business to make an appearance on an upcoming episode of Out and About Columbus? Send your contact information to info at outandaboutcolumbus.com to learn more.